where Peyton mimics. I'm Mike with the Grizzle War Master, and we're back with another episode of my painting vlog. Today we're going to be tackling Mimics. Uh, Mimic is a great monster for D&D. Um, they pose as chests or doors or any kind of random object. Uh, and then when they get up there, try to open the chest or open the door. They spring to life and gnashing teeth. And it brings to mind images from John Carpenter's The Thing. Uh, these shapeshifters, they're otherworldly, they're creepy. Uh, but a lot of people are pretty boring with them. They just use them as chests because that's what they're depicted as mostly. But, you know, they could be anything. They could be a wall, a door. Uh, they can be the timbers in their ceiling. You know, get creative with it if you're using it with your characters. Um, and these are, again, are from the Nolzer's uh, WizKids miniature line. They are the pre-prime miniatures, and they were a lot of fun to paint. So I used uh, the same technique I use on my aged wood for pretty much all my aged wood models. Uh, so you take a look at that, just basically, um, different striations with all the different browns and everything. So we'll get into that. So let's hit the table and check out how I painted these. Okay. Here we got them all set. We've got them all cleaned off and ready to paint. Um, we're going to do, we're going to paint the wood first. I'm going to use my, my, my old wood technique. We're going to start with a dark brown, dryad brown for Citadel. That's what I'm going to use. And I'm just going to go over all the wood area, the wood texture. Now, there's a spot you can kind of choose where the it starts to morph into the mimic skin. I'm going to paint that a little bit different, but um, let's go ahead and paint up all the wood now. Okay, now we've got it all dark. We're going to uh, do a couple uh, lighter tones on here. The first one we're going to do, uh, basically these tones, we're just going to use like a stripy motion across the wood grain. And I'm going to use uh, Steel Legion Drab for Citadel. Um, and then basically it doesn't matter if you hit all the planks. I mean, ideally you do like two strokes at each plank, but, uh, even if you miss the plank, as long as you have like a stripy motion, it'll look well for good. There you go. See, you got the, uh, it doesn't even have to go all the way across the plank. You can break it up a little bit because of that natural wood look. Um, you know, as long as you're doing it along the planks, uh, it doesn't have to paint the whole plank or whatever. You can just do like a couple stripes on the plank or if you, even if you miss a plank, as long as you're doing it across that. And then Alexandri dust for the lighter tone across that. So we're just going to go over the areas, the stripes we've already put on there, and leaving a little bit of that Alexandri uh, dust or the uh, uh, Steel Legion trap showing underneath. And there we go. Um, we got a good, nice contrast there. We're going to darken that up with a wash, obviously. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the aged wood look. And you can even go further. You can do like gray if you want, depending on how old you want the wood to look. And then we we'll use Agrax Earthshade, a little brown wash over it. All right, there we go. So you get darkened it all up there. It's got a nice wood grain look to it. And it's going to really pop with that, make the, uh, the, the metal bands pop when we get those painted. Uh, which we're going to do right now. Let's get the bands done and all around the edges there, all the metal stripes. And I'm going to use a dark, it's gunmetal gray. I think it's like, uh, used to be bolt gunmetal for, uh, yeah, I think it's a uh, lead belcher now. There we go. Got it all done. And we're going to shade that with non oil. So like a black wash, all the metal parts. That's going to age them. All right. Nice aged metal with the aged wood. Looks like a chest or keg you'll find in any dungeon. <laughs> Only with a little surprise. And uh, now we're going to work on the tongue. We need to get the tongue. Uh, we're going to do a dark purple with it. We're going to use uh, Citadel Color Xeris Purple. We you use any like dark purple. Um... All right, tongue is done. Now we need to work on the fleshy parts. And like I said, the fleshy parts, it's up to you how far you back you go on the wood because it's kind of transforming. I'm going to use a Warlock Purple um, color because that's uh, what I have. I think it's Screamer Pink now is the current Citadel color. 
I just do the gums inside the mouth and the little fleshy parts. There we go. Got it all fleshed up there. And you can see around the keg one, you can just make your decision how far you want to go with the with that. And now we're going to highlight that with a bright pink. Uh, I'm use cardinal pink. Uh, and then we're going to do a hard highlight. So kind of like with the wood. See how we did? Just a couple stripes across the pink areas. And we're going to do the same thing with the tongue with the lighter purple, the Gene Steeler purple. And just like with the wood grain, we're just going to go across because you can see the texture on the tongue. It doesn't matter if you hit it exactly as long as you're going across it the same same way. There we go. So we got the tongue highlighted, skin highlighted. Now we're going to work on the teeth. And we're doing our standard uh, Xander Dust base for teeth. And we're going to work our way up from there with lighter colors. And the Xandry Dust base is done. Now we're going to shade it first before we start highlighting it with a little Agrax Earth Shade. Boom, teeth are all shaded. And now on to some bone color. Uh, you can use Citadel Yashopti Bone. Uh, I have uh, the Ar Warp uh, Army Painter Skeleton Bone, same color. It's a little bone color, leave some of the Xandry Dust showing beneath. There we go. Now, the teeth look good there. You can leave them there if you want, but I'm going to do another highlight of Drake Tooth to lighten up a little bit, leaving some of the bone color beneath that. Let's go a little bit further down. There we go. Now the teeth really pop. We've got some different shade there. And for the eyes, we're going to do the same thing we do with the Beholder here, right? We're going to do the Pallid Witch Flesh, and then a Tan Flesh, the Wild Rider Red, Demonic Yellow, or any kind of yellow you want, and then Black for the Pupil. We're going to do the same thing we did with the Beholder. Uh, there's a lot of eyes on these things. Boom. Got the eyes all done. And, yeah, started to color the base. You can texture it if you want, but it's pretty. these are pretty textured. And there you have it, guys. Mimics. Yeah, these things are awesome. Uh, they're fun to paint. Uh, you know, the hard part is deciding how far down the flesh tone, or the flesh goes... Uh, or the transformation, you can do more uh, like a, a gradient between the two. Um, where, where the eyeballs sort of pop in some of the back eyes. It's painted kind of like the wood color. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for joining me once again on my paint vlog. Please uh, like and subscribe. Share with your friends if you want. If you want to check out our other channel, it's the Grizzled Geek. There's a link on the main page for that. Uh, we'll be back again with painting some more D&D miniatures. Uh, I got a, I think I got a frost giant, the Nolzer's frost giant coming up next. So be sure to check that out. Uh, so thanks guys. I uh, really appreciate it. Um, and we will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.